Okra is a popular common vegetable. It has been cultivated as a crop for centuries. Growing okra is relatively easy compared to other vegetables. The most abundant vitamin in okra is vitamin K. This nutrient is important for blood clotting. Okra is also a great source of fibers recommended for diabetics and also other health benefits such as aiding in the elimination of cholesterol. For plants to be nurtured, soil nutrient is efficient for it affects the growth and yield quantity. Understanding plant responses to environmental factors such as temperature, moisture, or soil characteristics help explain plant performance and ecosystem functioning. Among the various factors affecting successful cultivation in plants are the essential elements such as the nitrogen, which is important determinant in growth and development of crop plants. Phosphorus is called the key of life because it is directly involved in most living process and also potassium which increases resistance to diseases and essential in the development of flowers and fruits in plant. Okra plants were grown in 6 inches diameter pot. There are 5 soil medium. The control group is the pure garden soil. The second group is with garden soil and an inorganic fertilizer which is 20-20-20 plus micro elements in composition. The third group is composed of the garden soil with vermicompost. The next group is with garden soil and the spent coffee grounds. And the last group is with a garden soil and a mix of the organic fertilizers, spent coffee grounds, and vermicompost. The seeds were first soaked with water overnight and using garden soil, spaced and sown into pots one half inch deep, then watered. This is the germination stage. In three days, the seeds began to sprout. When seedlings are two inches tall, then it is ready to transplant. So it was transplanted on the fourth day. Soil compositions were measured using a ratio by volume. The control group is with pure garden soil. The fertilizer group, I mixed 1 teaspoon fertilizer in 1 liter of water. For the vermicast group, I used 1 volume of vermicompost with 5 of garden soil. With the same ratio for the spent coffee grounds, 1 volume of the spent coffee grounds with 5 of the garden soil. The last group is the mix of one vermicompost, one spent coffee grounds, and four of the garden soil. Each group are in triplicate. Triplicate in scientific experiments are important to validate empirical data or the observed results. The plants were arranged and spaced one foot apart in random position by growing lot. Spatial arrangements or spacing neighbor distance are central to explain plant performance differences. Then comes the plant growth monitoring by measuring and recording daily for 10 days. Tabulation and analysis of plant growth was taken from Ian Thompson graphing plant growth data video in YouTube. These tables are my data for the five soil compositions. I spaced my data for every two days, and since there are triplicates, I get the average for each of the composition. To understand more, look here in my data for the control group. Since there are triplicates, I have C1, C2, and C3. So for example, on July 5, 
To compute the average is to add all of these 3 divided by 3 which is equal to 14 and so on. Day 1 would be the starting height which is considered 0 or the initial length. To compute for the change in the length, you have to subtract for the following days from the average, for example, on July 7, it is 16. So subtract 16 from the initial height 14. So we have a change of length 2.0. The data is in centimeters, which means that the change in length of 2.0 is the plant growth in two days. To compute for the change in height is to divide the change in length with the initial length. Note here that I am using length and height interchangeably. Thus, for example, on day 2, the change in length is 2. Divide that with the initial length which is 14. And in percentage, that is 14.3%. So in summary, I have this percent change in height table for all the five soil compositions. By using a scatter graph, I have here the percent growth of okra as illustrated. The graph shows that the highest percentage change in height is the fertilizer followed by the control group and then the vermicast, uh, it has a line which, which goes upward and then next is the spent coffee grounds and the last one is the mixed spent coffee grounds and vermicast. With the same computation of data analysis, I also have a record and tabulation for the leaf length for all the five compositions. Here is the table and the summary of the percent change in leaf length in centimeters. The scatter graph shows that the fertilizer medium is still has the highest percent in growth rate. The vermicast shows third in the percent change in leaf length, but it shows on the graph that it steadily is rising. The group with a mix of vermicast and spent coffee grounds is on the last. This video shows that okra plant has a 100% survival rate though it shows a low performance in soil with the spent coffee grounds. Video is recorded today, August 8, 2022. This is Leticia Lagahit. Thank you for watching.